dude, I so love the villain. <laughs> I, seriously, like, I played two heroes uh, last year. I played a cowboy that saved a town from a bug invasion, and I played, uh, I played, uh, 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 an astronaut. I played Buzz Aldrin. Don't forget that name. Um, and what I found out was, when you play the hero, you're always running. <laughs> and you're always sweating. And you always have to feel guilty about something. So you're always dredging up some childhood trauma. Whereas, if you play the villain, you just lurk. <laughs> just, you know, just check out the shadows. And, and then the hero comes by and you spit in the face. And then you go home. <laughs> But the thing is, the only problem with the villain is you have to lose the end fight. At the end of the episode, you have to lose. But until then, they build you up as powerful as the main character. So you're, in effect, you're the hero anyway, but only cooler. <laughs> like, when I, when I, when I, got, um, when I got, uh, got on uh, uh, Torchwood, I, I called up my son and I was like, dude, man, I got the coolest character, man. I got two guns, I got a samurai sword, man, I got this time wristwatch, I can go anywhere in time I want, man. He goes, Dad, do you win or lose? <laughs> I'm like, what? And he goes, dude, you always have this big fight at the end of the episode, do you win or lose? And I'm like, well, I'm not villain, man, I gotta lose. He's like, what else you got?